uh, welcome all. Uh, hope your uh, engineering services preliminary examination uh, preparation is over. Uh, tomorrow you have uh, preliminary examination. So I wish you all the best. Now don't try anything new and just relax. Now today I am going to give you some tips uh, that you need to follow uh, in examination hall. It may help you. It's not a big video. It is just a uh, five to six minutes video, not more than that. It is even less than that. So just spend uh, these uh, five to six minutes. It may be helpful to you. So based on I, my experience, based on my experience, I'm sharing some of the important tips that you need to follow in the examination hall. Point number one. Point number one. You enter the examination hall in a stress-free mind. What does it mean? So the point which I try to highlight here is when you are sitting in the examination hall, don't sit with an intention of what if I don't clear? Uh, what is going to happen to my future? Please forget that. So there is much beyond engineering services examination. It is just a part of your life. It is not the life. So go in a stress-free manner. You sit in the examination hall and don't think about the future. Uh, see, if I don't clear the examination, what will happen to my future? First, you remove that. Bahad zada life hai. Even without engineering services, there is much life. It is not just the life. It is part of the life. Point number one. So remove that. Second, when you start your examination hall right from the beginning, maintain proper pace. So it may so happen initially uh, to gain accuracy. Initially, what we do to gain accuracy, what we do is we try to uh, solve questions rather in a slow manner. So what happens with this is at the end, number of questions to be answered will be more. So right from the beginning, you maintain proper pace itself. Next. So when you are doing questions, let's say in an orderly manner, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever it may be. See, in the middle, you find some lengthy questions. So it's a request to all of you. Those questions are purposefully inserted in the middle just to kill your time. So skip. You may be knowing that. You may be knowing that. So it will be better to skip. And if you are so confident that you are not going to commit any mistake, you cover uh, at that time itself. Otherwise, I advise you to skip that question. You skip that question and you can come to that question a little later, maybe at the end. So in the middle, when you find some lengthy questions, just leave. Next. The most important part is units. And apart from units, is he asking diameter? Is he asking radius? For example, let us say you got the radius as 10 centimeter. But in the problem, he may be asking diameter. So out of the exam fear, it is quite possible. So even though the diameter is asked, you may be giving this. Maybe who knows? Option A may be 10 centimeter and option D may be 20 centimeter. So due to you got this answer, right? You got this answer. But that in that mind will be like that. So therefore, just give a second and see what is asked. And what parameter is asked, what are its units that you need to check. That is the most important part. Next. Uh, say for example, now you have 150 questions. Okay. Let us say uh, you are left with say last one hour. You are left with last one hour and last one hour and uh, you have to solve say 65 questions. Maybe difficult. So during the first two hours, you might have solved around 85 or so. Uh, uh, yeah. And now last one hour, you need to solve around 65 questions. It is a bit difficult task. So therefore, as it is a difficult task, I advise you to go through these unanswered questions. See, in 65 questions, you go through all questions. You scan the paper so that there are some questions which you can answer immediately without just theoretical questions. 
so you may be required around 5 to 6 seconds for such questions so once you scan all the 65 questions in the last one hour so now you feel that there are no questions which are not seen by you so then you come back to your routine manner but please see that and finally you should not come out from the examination hall and say that sir the time was not sufficient but last 20 questions were easy out of 20 i could have answered around 15 questions that should not happen that is your weakness i am telling you tomorrow after the examination if you come like that so no one will help you even god doesn't help you so scan the paper completely then uh, the most important part is you have to maintain your cool till the end what does it mean for example there are two aspects here the first aspect is say you are not in a position to answer five questions consecutively five questions continuously you are not in a position to answer definitely uh, we may be a bit tensed because i lost five questions continuously so what would happen leave it even if you lose 10 questions continuously there is no need for you to worry because whenever the mind is cool it is going to do wonders so suddenly if you uh, slip into underconfidence after five questions if you are not in a position to solve five questions continuously if your confidence level comes down then you are that is going to affect your subsequent paper also so maintain that cool stay cool till the end doesn't matter uh, whether the paper is tough or easy let us say the paper is easy and you are answered let us say you have answered 50 questions attempted 50 questions and you could answer 45 correctly and now your confidence level will move from confidence to overconfidence that is also very dangerous because because now you may start reading questions in a hurried, uh, hurried manner and then you may lose some questions but due to overconfidence so the only mantra here is whether the paper is tough or easy you have to maintain your cool till the end and believe me we have not come into this world of our own we have not come someone has sent us who sent us almighty when he has sent he will take care of us then why do you worry so you don't have to worry you don't have to worry my dear friends so you don't have to worry that's it you don't have to worry when he is there he will take care of you so don't worry so just keep working so and have faith in almighty take blessings of your parents and I wish you all the best. God bless you. Come out with flying colors. Don't worry about anything. God bless you all. All the best for your engineering services, preliminary examination, which is scheduled tomorrow. Good luck.